Hello my friends, welcome back. In the previous video, we created our action and reducer for our book. So what I'm going to focus in this video is to create our store and connect the pieces together. So let's get started. So uh, until now, you may not have what you are doing if you are confused, but after you connect our store, you can see how these two concepts go together. To make our life easier so inside my store folder let's create one file called store.js and in here we need a couple of import here so first we need what is called create store from redux package we installed not red react redux but redux package itself and we need combine reducers to combine the pieces of reducers inside our in what is called apply middleware like that so next is let's import the thank package we install the thank package is going to help us to make or dispatch or to make use of async await inside our dispatch okay so from reader thank and then the next one will be our compose with dev2 right this is a development package to be able to visualize our state inside our browser. All right. So we import that one from um, Redux Dev2 extension we installed previously. And we want to grab Compose with Dev2. So next is we need to combine all the pieces of middleware and pass into our, because we want to make use of thanks. So you have to what? It's a middleware. You have to pass this middleware to our store. So this is how you do it. So cons, I will make this one middle middleware because we have many middlewares here. So we have to put them in an array because we want to spread. If not, if you have a couple of middlewares, for example, we have the compose with dev tools and middleware. So we have to put them inside an array and spread it inside our store. So the next is that the, read, the store needs three or two important argument or parameters. It's called reducer. So I'll make it reducer here. And this reducer takes in the combined reducer. It's an object that's going to have all the pieces of reducers inside our application. So one reducer or data I'm going to take it of score book created. Because that's what we are doing in the previous video about creating the book. So on this property, you want to assign the reducer to our book reducer where is it here this one created so let me head over to my store here and say create book reducer do I have the auto import create book reducer oh good we have it so now we have a reducer the next one is called you have to create the store all right so i will say cons store is equal to create store from redox and it's a function and you have to pass in the first one is a reducer and the second one will be the initial state is optional and the last one will be compose with dev2 right and in there make use of apply middleware so that we can use many middlewares inside of our store like that and then let me export this. You can make use to export default store. I'll make it name export. So export store. This is I prefer my export wheel things. So now that we have the store created, let's head over to our index case file that last step and then wrap our readers with our right application. So I need to import, let me make use of this um import I need it here. Let me trash here. And then what do I need? I have to import last package from React Redux called pro provider. So from React Redux. And here I will have what is called my provider. And I have to wrap my component with my provider. So let me delete this street mode here and say provider takes one prop called store. And I'll pass in the store from the one we created. Let me see how we have the auto import. Perfect. Now with this one, when you head, we are done about connecting our React application with Redux. So let's see 
when head over to our application when you refresh it i think it's down so, so let's start it again let me head over to my home directory and see john dev and let's see if everything goes on well we have our good let's see if there is no error good we are good to go as you can see when you if you don't have this ex, uh, extension called react dev to when you open when you click on that as you can see we have our dev to extension and you can see here that we only have don't have any state it's empty that is book created which is coming from our store reducer this one book created so if you don't have this extension head over to google extension here and install redux dev tools so guys this is how we what we connect our application to redux so in the next video we will start dispatching our first action to create book thanks for watching